happening tomorrow, everyone's favorite day, maybe not so favorite, tax day. If you are like the millions of Americans who have not yet filed, you've less than a day to do so. So here to break down what you need to know about what's different about filing this year, News 10's Connell Smith. Connell, you and I... Yeah, Michaela, exactly. I filed uh, about a month ago and got my refund pretty quickly. But again, like you mentioned, if you are like the millions of Americans who are still waiting, time's just not on your side. If you need to do so, you can file an extension through October. But again, you're urged to do it as soon as possible. But it may come with a fee. Now, the IRS is expecting to receive somewhere around 160 million returns this year, with around 78 million already processed. And if your 2021 income was less than $73,000, you are eligible to free file through New York State at tax.ny.gov. If you received a stimulus check like many people did in 2021, you still need to record that on your tax forms. However, the stimulus payment will not be taxed itself. And if you collected unemployment at all, that will be taxed and must be recorded on your form also. You should have received a 1099 G form showing how much you received and how many taxes were withheld. Again, now a big change this year filing is regarding the earned income credit. That's been expanded, so it may apply to workers who are 65 and older, even if they do not have any dependents. It also applies to individuals without children, ages 19 through 24, who are filing independently. And again, another big change comes in the form of cryptocurrency. If you bought or sold crypto in 2021 on your 1040 form, you must answer yes to a question on page one. Even if you didn't buy crypto, you're still required to answer. According to the IRS, they could face a major backlog on returns this year, and one of the main reasons is, of course, due to staffing. So if you've waited this long to file, you may have to wait a little while longer to receive your refund. In most cases, refunds are sent within 21 days. For more info on how to file, go to News10.com. Reporting live in studio, Connell Smith, News10, ABC.